Alright guys, today we're going to upgrade this heater hose on the Ford Expedition, which the F-150s have it. Actually, a lot of Fords have this. It's a stupid design. You get this little plastic tee that just crumbles. And then when this goes, it's not a slow leak. It's going to be a really, really fast leak. It's pretty much just going to unload all the coolant in one shot. And you're not going to limp at home. You're not limping it anywhere unless you have a fix. So, preventive maintenance, we're going to upgrade to this brass. This is really a PEX fitting is what it is. This is never going to break. This is a permanent fix. And this is only three, four bucks. All you got to do is cut out. I'll show you here. I just took a little whiz wheel, a little Dremel, just ever so slightly go in there. Zip it, zip it down, and then put a flathead screwdriver and just crack them open. Try not to cut into the line. But that's how I got it off, and a little penetrant lubricant on the the hose itself. And then work a pick in there, and you'll get them off. They are tight. Well, now we're going to put this guy in. We got our, we got our clamps, stainless steel clamps. So we're going to have three of those. We're going to have one of these fittings, and I'll give you guys the size. So it's not three-quarter, like some people say. Uh, in the PEX world, it's uh, it's going to be one inch. Three-quarter. Three-quarter is definitely too small, and I found that out the hard way. It definitely was flopping around in the hose. So the hose is three-quarter, but in for PEX, it's like one step up. So it's going to be one inch. A three quarter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this on the other one. There's another. There's another fitting down here. Another Y. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change that out or not. But the one that's known to go bad is this one in here. The T that goes. That goes in the top of the engine here. So that's what we're doing right now. So I just put a little bit of grease in here. Like silicone grease. So I'm going to put this guy in here, and I'm going to connect this one. And I'm going to connect this one right here. So, put that one on there. That's my, so where does she want to... Oh, no. Yeah, she wants to be somewhere over there. That's where... That's where she wants to be. All right. So now I'm gonna get these clamps on and tighten them down, snug them up, and then we're gonna start it and check for leaks. But I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So I got the tea in here, brass tea. We were connected back down here. There's also two O-rings in the quick disconnect so if they're leaking you can just swap the o-rings out uh, and again you could save yourself the money and just rebuild this and really it would be better anyway rather than just spending another hundred dollars and getting this hose assembly that's just going to break again in the plastic tee so this is the permanent solution for that that we have the peace of mind uh, you know if you're taking the boat out you're not going to you're not going to pop this T fitting here, this one right here, because this is not going to be a small leak. This thing lets loose, that shit's going to be pissing everywhere. You'll probably unload that cooling system within minutes, and you're not limping it anywhere. Unless you have something like this as a backup, you know, in the vehicle, or let's say a spare hose assembly in the vehicle. But if you're going to have even a spare in the, in the vehicle, you got to make sure you have tools. You know, you gotta have the you gotta have a way to get these quick disconnects off. Sometimes they come off by hand, sometimes they don't. Uh, I'll show you guys what I use uh, to get them off. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. This is what I use to get the quick disconnects off. The two white tabs. You can just go around those two little white tabs at the bottom and squeeze, and you just pull up on the the hose assembly. It should come right off. That's what I use 
this is really just for pulling off hoses. You know, when they're stuck on here, you just get around here and you go back and forth, twist them, and you can get them off that way. That's one way to do it. But they also work great for the quick disconnects. If you don't have the tool, I didn't have the tool, you know, but I had I had three different three different sizes of these. So Mac makes these, but it doesn't really matter. Harbor Freight has them. You know, you can get them you can get them anywhere. But that's it for today and if you guys have any comments, uh, leave them down below. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you guys, you know, figure it out. So I'll be back with another video on the next vehicle or next job. Peace out, guys.